Firefighters say an early morning fire in Attica severely damaged a family of three's home. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on the second house fire that Attica crews have fought in the past four days. The Attica Volunteer Fire Department got the call at 9 a.m. Monday about a house fire, but it could have been burning for hours. The guys, when they left uh, as they were coming north to go to the fire station, they could see smoke in the sky. So that's a pretty good indication. It's been, and I think it burned for a while before anybody ever noticed it. Rhonda DeLong, her husband, and her grandson had left the house on Columbia Street in Attica by 5.30 in the morning before the fire started. When they returned, they saw what happened to their home. All the fire trucks were here. Ambulance, fire department. Attica Fire Chief Ed O'Farrell says when crews from Attica, West Point, and Williamsport arrived, there was heavy smoke. They were able to get it out within the half hour. Then they faced extreme heat in the rest of the home. Everything was contained uh, in the in the what little space there was in the attic, and into the in the kitchen. The kitchen took the brunt of everything. O'Farrell says it was a good thing no one was home during the fire. He says the way the heat built up in the house, it could have quickly become very dangerous. It was ex extremely hot inside. The walls have uh, started to blister and bubble. Even the television in the living room started getting heat damage from the and, and started the plastic started to melt on it. And that's at almost at floor level. Bad. The whole inside's got it out in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you can tell it got really hot. This is the second house fire in four days in Attica. Thursday night, an abandoned home caught fire. O'Farrell says the cause of the fire is under investigation, but it looks suspicious. That is not the case for Monday's fire. However, the cause is still under investigation. DeLong says her family will be staying with relatives and hopes to move back into the home when repairs are made. Reporting in Attica, Kelly Roberts, News 18.